Hello everyone and welcome. In this video, we're going to solve the following differential equation. So we have the second derivative of x with respect to t plus e to the x equals zero. This is a second order differential equation with a known function is x and the independent variable here is t. Let's denote it by e. Now we're going to start with some notations. We're going to denote by x dot the first derivative of x with respect to t and by x double dot its second derivative. Now, let's assume that x of t equals a t plus b is a solution of a. Now, because we have a linear function, if we differentiate this twice, if we differentiate it once, we're gonna get a, and if we differentiate it twice, we're going to get zero. So if we substitute that into the differential equation, we're going to get that zero is equal to e to the a t plus b, which we know to be positive. And we have a contradiction. Therefore, we cannot have a linear, uh, a linear solution for our differential equation. In particular, our solutions cannot be constant. Now, let's solve the equation. In order to solve it, we're going to multiply both sides of the equation by an integrand factor. So an integrand factor is basically a factor that will make the right-hand side of the equation into the derivative of a certain function. So if you multiply both sides by x, x dot, this is what we're gonna get. So basically we're gonna get x dot times x double dot plus x dot times e to the x. And the left hand side here is actually the derivative of x dot squared over two plus e to the x. So now we know that uh, we are differentiating something with respect to t and we get zero, which means that something must be a constant. Now, everything between brackets is obviously positive, so we can assume that x dot squared over two plus e to the x is equal to a squared with a, a positive number. Now we can solve this equation. We can look at it as an algebraic equation, which we can solve with respect to x dot and we're going to get x dot squared equals two times a squared minus e to the x. Taking the square root on both sides, we get x dot equals plus or minus root two times root a squared minus e to the x. Okay, now we're going to perform a change of variable. We're going to say that y is equal to the square root of a squared minus e to the x which is equivalent to setting that x is equal to natural log of a squared minus y squared. Now, the original equation, or let's say the second differential equation that we had, which is x dot equals plus or minus root two times root a squared minus e to the x will be equivalent to the following differential equation. So negative two y times y dot over a squared minus y squared is equal to plus or minus root two times y. Now we have a superable differential equation, and this is equivalent to uh, y prime or y dot over a squared minus y squared equals plus or minus root two over two. And the reason we were able to divide both sides by uh, by negative 2y is because y cannot be 0. Because if y is equal to 0, then x will be constant. And we know that uh, our original equation does not have any constant solutions. Okay, now we integrate. As we integrate, we get that the integral of a, uh, one over a minus y times a plus y dy is equal to plus or minus the integral of root two over two dt. Now we multiply both sides by 
2a and we get that now we can uh, decompose the integrand of the first integral we're going to decompose that we're going to use a partial fraction decomposition and the partial fraction decomposition of the integrand is given by 1 over a minus y plus 1 over a plus y now we can just integrate that now and we get the natural log of a plus y over a minus y now because we know that y is between uh, negative a and and a now we we don't bother with uh with the constant we can add the constant with, uh, to the other integral now if we integrate uh, a times root 2 uh, with respect to t we're going to get the following we're going to get plus or minus a root 2 times t plus constant of integration we can simply write it as natural log of b where b is a positive number and then we're going to uh, undo the logarithm by taking the exponential on both sides and we're going to get a plus y over a minus y equals b times exponential plus or minus a root 2 times t now we can solve this uh, for y as we solve it for y we get the following we get y equals b times exponential of plus or minus a root 2 times t minus 1 over b exponential of plus or minus a root 2 times t plus 1 now we can find x now recall that e to the x is simply a squared minus y squared so we can compute that we replace y and we get that we can simplify this and we get that e to the x equals 4 a squared b times e to the plus or minus a root 2 times t divided by the square of b times exponential plus of minus a root 2 times t plus 1. Now that we have e to the x, we can find x. So we can get x equals the natural log of that quantity. Okay, and we're going to end up with two families of solutions. The first family is going to be x equals a times root 2 times t plus the natural log of 4a squared b minus 2 times the natural log of b times exponential of a root 2 times t plus 1 and the second family of solutions is going to be x equals negative a times root 2 times t plus natural log of 4a squared times b minus 2 times natural log of b exponential of negative a root 2 times t plus 1 now with reached the end of our video thank you for watching consider subscribing if you like this kind of content and please like and share to your friends i'll see you next time bye